Here we have our linear electromagnetic positioner. Now, we also have a rotary one, but you can tell this is a linear one. You have this bar coming across here. Now, these bars come in different sizes depending on the stroke. Here we've got it set up on a 150 mil stainless steel knife gate valve. There's a few things to note about this positioner. So, first of all, here we have our input, which is his top two, positive and negative. And underneath we have our output. Now, when we say input and output, this one gives us a 4 to 20 milliamp input and output. Most of them that you see in a positioner just come with the input. So we, ours are standard with input and output. Now, if you need to set this positioner, there's a few things in play inside here. We've got the cover off at the moment. Here is the zero span, sorry, the zero home wheel. Now, what you do here is typically when you install it, you would close your valve, whether it's a knife gate or a control valve, whatever it is, something with a linear stroke. You'd make sure this is closed here and you with your feedback on here, which we'll, I'll put that on after, you control this wheel either up or down. So when it's closed, you want it to say four milliamp. So then you've set your home position. If we come across here, this here is your span. Now when I say span, it's really, the, in this case, it's the stroke. So this is a linear, so it's gonna be the distance that this gate travels, the stroke. Now what we want it to do is when it's all the way up, we want it to say 20 milliamp being closed. So four mil, so open, four milliamp will be closed, 20 milliamp will be closed, open. So if, if this comes up and travels all the way and you're not saying 20 milliamp, or you're saying 20 milliamp and it's still got further to travel, you need to adjust the span. Now to do that, you have to loosen this screw here and then you use this thumb wheel either up or down to adjust it, whether you're decreasing your span or increasing your span. Once you've set it, you've got to lock it off again. Then you'll have to come back over to your set home setting and make sure that when this is fully closed, this says four milliamp. A couple other things to note here, you have this flat screw here, if you take it out, is actually a manual override. So this will make it move and it won't, it won't affect either of these settings here. You can take it out to manually see if this is working. Up in here we have our potentiometer. If we move across here to the board, these top two are our input. So this is your 4 to 20 milliamp input signal. That way you give it a setting somewhere between 4 and 20 or 4 or 20 and it will make the gate in this case move up or down or if you say you went for 12 milliamp it would sit about halfway. Underneath it, these next two, the positive and negative, is your output. Now, you also need to calibrate your output to match your input. Most of the time, it is set naturally. But if it's a little bit out, say you had 4 milliamp showing here on your input, being it all the way closed, but on your output, it said 5 or 6 milliamp, you need to adjust it down. Here you have a plus and a minus and a save button. We've got some manual instructions on those if you want to refer them to. Apart from that, round the back, we've set it up with a filter regulator. This is our input supply coming in here. Goes around into the supply and the positioner. Here is In here is where it balances. Comes back down the output is where the pressure gauge is. And from here, we're running our signals up into the pneumatic cylinder, which drives this knife gate, knife gate valve. I'll just put the cover on this and we'll show you in an action. So these models being an analog electromagnetic positioner, they have a continuous bleed inside. It's a very small amount of air, but they will always continuously bleed. But if you compare that to a digital, a digital won't always continuously bleed. It will only consume air when you're either moving up or down. It's not a lot of air, and it actually does, if it's in a dusty environment, it gives a positive displacement pressure inside, so you won't have dust ingressing into the model, which can be good. We'll just put our controller on here. This unit here is a 4 to 20 milliamp controller. This actually does input and, and output. We'll just put it on the input, positive and negative. So here are my controller. At the moment, it's, you can see it's saying 4 milliamp. So it's in the totally closed position. So we've set the home wheel correctly. And we've already preset the span on here, but we can double check that. If you're wondering what the yellow clip on here, this is for the output and the uh, negative is a common. So we'd have to span those two for the uh, output and this one would go on the bottom. In this case, we're just going to put input. So if you see, 
I take it up, you can see I'm at 6 milliamp and this is starting to open here. If I go up to 12, you'll see it's halfway up. If I take it up further, let's go all the way. Let's go to 20, which would in our case would be fully open. You can see that's fully open. And if we look up here, you can see the top of the rods up in the cylinder. Our span is correct here, so that's been set correctly. We can take it back down again to four. You can see that the gate as it comes down actually modulates. So this is if you were controlling a media going through. Being a knife gate, it's probably not going to be water. It would be something that uh, you couldn't use on a modulating ball valve. In this case, it's going to an abattoir, so it's uh, off ball and things like that. Four is all the way closed.